This is a video showing the converted mill, the WM18 Walco, under its own power. Basically just going to show the Y-axis front block being manufactured. This is just cutting air, which will just seem like very boring, but unfortunately these machines are for sale and we sell them as brand new and we buy them in directly from Walco. So thank you very much for watching. This is just skimming the top of the block. Just as a reference, this is moving at 1.2 meters a minute. This is just cutting down a approximately about a 19 mil hole going around there. What we'll do is just, just speed it up a wee bit so you can see it. What Not that you'd more likely be cutting at this speed, but this is at 200%, which is running at about 1500 millimeters a minute. But just gives you an idea of how fast the machine can run. Obviously, to be able to cut at these speeds, you'll really need to make sure that your spindle speed, your tool, everything is capable of doing it. These routines we're doing now are basically what we would use on our normal mills, which are using high-speed spindles, running at about 15,000 RPM. Again, this is running at a, about two meters a minute average. We're not saying for any given tool that you could actually cut at these speeds. Unfortunately, we have no experience of cutting with Walkos. And because we're converting these machines for sale, we won't be using them. We'll only test them basically to make sure that the spindle, everything works, the modifications are fully optimized on our part, but we won't be actually doing any cutting because that will be done by the owner and will depend on the material and the tools he's using. Just for a bit of fun, we'll just speed her up to 300%.
I was just cutting out the square now for the FK12 block to fit into so it's under the surface and doesn't impede the stepper motor mount. You can see these machines are capable of moving at really high speeds even though they are overall weight of 255 kilograms I believe. Very shortly, it'll just be going down. And cutting out the center part, which is a depth of 32 millimeters. We actually use a 12 mil cutter on our machines. Two flutes with a 30 mil flute length. But because we've taken away this material here and we're cutting from about 15 mil down to 32, you can see that the flute length is, um, is more than adequate and won't cause any rubbing. Here you can see it's pretty much just going down at very high speed. Um, but again, this is more just to show you what the machine can do. How you use a machine will depend on the materials, as we've said before and your cut your things but you could with this kind of machine you could possibly use fly cutters etc i think we'll just leave that there but thank you for watching and you can see that the machine is um, moving very freely and very nicely thank you very much